Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the radius of a circle given its area. And we've got this problem here. A circular lawn has an area of 100 metres squared. Determine its radius. Now, do you remember from a previous video, we saw how we could find the area of a circle using its radius. So the radius, remember, was the distance from the centre of the circle to the circumference of a circle. That's just the perimeter of it. And the formula was this, the area is pi times by the radius squared. And remember that means pi times r squared, so we square the radius first, then multiply it by pi. That does not mean pi times the radius, and then square it. And remember this is the Greek letter pi, and that's just a symbol used to represent a special number 3.141, etc. But you don't need to remember the value of pi because you can get on the calculator. Shift, and then I've got a golden pi here, and then we can see it's 3.141592654, etc. So that's the formula we need. But this time we don't have the radius, we've got the area, and we need to use the area to find the radius. But that's fine. If we just write out the formula, the area is equal to pi r squared. Let's just substitute in what we know. We're told the area is 100, so I'm going to substitute that area for 100. And then we've got the pi here, and I'm going to use a time symbol because pi r squared means pi times r squared because they're next to each other, and we've got the radius squared. Now I need to solve for r because I want to find the radius. So let's think what's happening to r. r is being squared and then you multiplied it by pi. Now remember to solve an equation you undo these things in reverse order. So if we squared and then multiplied by pi we need to undo that times by pi first by dividing by pi. So to get rid of that times by pi we divide both sides by pi. Remembering whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same to the other. So that just becomes 100 over pi, because over means divide by. And dividing by the pi gets rid of this times by pi, leaving r squared. Now, what happened to the r? r was being squared. We want to undo that squared. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So we therefore square root both sides. That becomes the square root of all of... 100 over pi, so make sure your square root goes over the whole fraction, not just the top. And the square root of r squared, well, the square rooting gets rid of the squared, leaving just r. Now I'm going to put that in my calculator, so square root of, press the fraction button, 100 at the top, down, shift, pi. And that gives me an r value of 5.64, that's going to be in metres, because our area was in metres squared, and that is two, three significant figures.